What's going on everyone? My name is Triforce Addiction. Welcome back to another COD Mobile video. So today I want to discuss a huge issue that's been happening for COD Mobile. And this has nothing to do with controllers. So if you're here about that and gonna spam on the comment section that the Android controllers don't work still, um, I don't know what to tell you. And this is not what this video is gonna be about. It's actually, it's actually gonna be about something more important, which is the banning situation. So I, I feel like the banning situation has kind of become this thing that's out of people's control and that's mainly because whenever people try to get support after they've been banned wrongly there's actually no support at all they'll just pretty much tell you that every ban is final no matter how long it is and i won't lie to you that happened to me as well um after i got unbanned i you know went to support and said like you know i was falsely banned and i was hoping that i could you know get my password back and you know kind of like just make sure my account is secure and everything and it wasn't hacked but i was just trying to take a safety measure and they just ended up telling me that you know all bends are final and yeah there's pretty much nothing you can do about it of course if the person was caught like being toxic or you know actually cheating you know wall hacking all that stuff I mean, yeah, it's understandable. You're not supposed to get your account back. But in most of these cases, people are just getting banned out of nowhere for no reason. Um, I don't really know if it's just a bug that's making them get banned or it's just a bunch of salty kids that are falsely accusing them of cheating. And I guess whatever anti-cheat is in this game or whoever's investigating just doesn't seem to give a fuck to even bother to check. Yeah, people are getting banned because of that. A lot of people have told me that it might have something to do with your iOS version, but keep in mind, some of these bans are probably also coming from either Game Loop or even on Android devices. So this is kind of like a universal thing. Everyone's actually dealing with this right now. A friend of mine from the stream named Magnus was actually playing with me a few days ago, and right after he stopped, maybe an hour or two later, he ended up getting banned. He messaged me with that notice, and it was a week-long ban. And it's, it's crazy because it seems like you can you can never perform too well without someone thinking you're a hacker. And look, something like this is always bound to happen. If you perform too well, someone's going to think that you're cheating and they're going to send you a report. But the problem is that there is no proof that you're actually cheating. I mean, you guys see my live streams. You don't see people through walls. I don't do that shit. I don't have aimbot. I don't have fucking no recoil hacks or magnetic bullets. And yet, even with all this proof, you could still get banned, it's it's crazy. And no, you could easily say like, well, they're not gonna watch your videos, obviously, but I mean, they should have some, I guess, footage of, you know, past gameplays, or I, I guess past games where they can see if you are or not. I mean, it, it, it shouldn't be that complicated. And also, if they're able to find out which game that report came from, they could probably investigate that game to make sure that, you know, we aren't cheating or just so they could look at it. You know, it, it, it doesn't seem too complicated to me, but for some reason, people are still getting banned. These are people that have been playing this game for such a long time that spent thousands and thousands of dollars paying for those lucky draws and crates and all that good stuff. All of that to just be gone forever. You know, some of them may get a one week ban, but you never know. The next time could be permanent. And some people already got a 10 year ban. A few of them already did. I did check the COD Mobile support discord and they're always talking about that. Even recently I heard this uh, YouTuber, her name was Aerith or Erith or whatever her name was. She ended up getting a ban within her live stream for a week, just out of nowhere. You know, when I first saw the bans coming out on the COD Mobile support discord, I thought, you know, it was because people were using blue stacks or using some unauthorized emulator and I would have understood, right? But I mean, these are just everyday people that are just playing the game just to have fun and just out of nowhere, they just receive a one week or even a permanent ban. And with the rules that actually involve you getting banned, you know, such as such as, you know, being toxic or having a unauthorized controller or using an unauthorized emulator or VPN or something like that. I mean, like with all these rules in place, most of these people are following them. And yeah, it, it seems like they should just add another section that says don't play too good or you're just going to get banned. That's that's what's been happening for quite a while. And this happened to me before. And this is happening to my friend Magnus, Aerith, pretty much anyone who is good at Call of Duty Mobile or at least has some sort of skill. It's like no one can actually take a beating 
without accepting it. And that's one thing. I, I feel like they need to remove the report button. If you're going to report someone, make sure to get their IDs or make sure to copy it down. Go on Discord and there should be a section where you can report them there instead of doing it in game because whenever that happens, people just get wrongly banned. So I think it's better to have it in just Discord or Reddit or something like that or even on Twitter and have them get banned that way instead because it, like the way it is right now I could easily send a false report to just anyone that beats me and they'll probably get banned sooner or later and that isn't fair that's pretty much all it takes at this point it just takes your word and that's it they'll just ban the person that you reported it, it that's not fair man I mean even for toxicity purposes if someone's saying the n-word yeah you report them obviously but like, what about people that report for toxicity, even though they probably didn't even say anything, right? I mean, I don't message in the game chat or even on the world chat. You know, th there could be multiple bans for different reasons, not just cheating. Obviously, it could be for toxicity or, you know, exploiting or whatever. And that's another huge issue that irks me. They don't tell you why you were banned. I mean, I don't even know why I was banned the last two times. So, I don't know. I mean, my friend Val has been banned for... I don't even know, like 15 times, maybe more than that. And not one of them even states a reason as to why he was banned. I mean, don't we at least deserve some sort of explanation? They seem to go off on the basis that we already know why, or we should already know why we were banned. But obviously, when it comes to just random bans like this, we don't know. And that's the problem. We need transparency like this. Like, how long is this going to go on for? Because, you know, I could, f I could feel like a lot of people are already like scared to even get online after their ban is up because they're worried about receiving another one. That happens to me every day. I even log in in the middle of the night at like just after waking up from a few hours of sleep to make sure that I am not banned. I, I literally have to check every now and then to make sure there is nothing wrong. Like we shouldn't even be living in fear like that. And it's a normal reaction obviously because me personally, I've spent a lot of money in this game and so have other people. And all of that just to go to waste over some salty kid that just couldn't take losing. It's it's not a really, it's not a pleasant feeling. And it's so funny that they seem to focus more on banning the wrong people than actually banning the ones that need to be banned. You know, like in rank, the people with the NA45 that could explode everyone before the round even starts in the search and destroy lobby. Like, what about those guys? Like, how come you don't pay attention to them? So, like, why are you focusing on us that have... Literally nothing to do with hacking, we're just trying to live our lives and just enjoy the game. You know, like why is like why do you focus more on us than them? I don't I don't get that. This really can't keep happening, honestly, because like I said, the next ban for anyone can be permanent. So yeah, I mean that's what I'm afraid of. I mean I've sunk too much money in this game. I've made a lot of progress getting diamond camo on everything, Damascus, Ether Crystal. All that stuff for all of it just to go to waste because of some salty kid. So whoever's developing the anti-cheat or whatever, whoever's working on those reports, you guys seriously need to get your shit together. If not, just take out the report button from the game for the time being until you fix this whole situation and just leave the reporting to Discord, uh, Reddit, or even Twitter. At least for the time being so that we won't have to suffer just random bans out of nowhere knowing full well that we didn't do anything wrong. So anyways, that's my whole take on this whole banning situation. It's been happening for, I mean, pretty much ever since like season 10. Um, it's happened more often this this uh, season. Last time it wasn't that bad, but you know, season 10 has been like just progressively worse and it's continuing to get more like serious. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe for some more COD Mobile content. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.